I turn now to David Lace's confessions. David Lace was arrested and in custody for a series of burglaries in Portsmouth on the 16th of September 1983. Whilst being interviewed by local officers in relation to these offences, he stated that he wished to tell them about a murder he had committed. He stated that he could no longer live with what he had done and that he was better off in prison. They interviewed him and realising that he was referring to the murder of Teresa de Simone, duly notified officers who had been involved with that investigation. He then submitted to a more detailed interview by officers from the murder investigation during which he disclosed the following, and this detail is taken from a record of that interview conducted with David Lace on the 17th of September 1983, in which he stated that he had taken or stolen a rucksack and cash from a meter at his lodgings in Portsmouth on the 4th of December 1979. That was the day before Theresa's murder. That matter was reported to police in, in Portsmouth at the time and he was subsequently arrested and charged with these matters on the 10th of December. He made no disclosure at that time in relation to the murder in Southampton. He then walked to Southampton, arriving at some point in, in the evening, possibly the late evening after the pubs had closed, and was present at the rear of the Tom Tuckle pub in the early hours of 5th of December when Teresa was dropped back at her car by a friend. He approached the car, tapped on the window, asking Teresa the time. He then forced his way into the driver's seat beside her and locked the doors to prevent her escape. He described Teresa, her clothing, and how he used violence to subdue her. She struggled, he sexually assaulted her, and strangled her using the passenger seat belt in the car. He admitted subjecting Teresa to a violent attack and sensed that he had killed her. He removed a handbag and items of jewellery, concealing the handbag in bushes nearby. He kept cash from the handbag and he kept the jewellery. He left Teresa lying across the back seat of her car. He hid for approximately 10 minutes before going to Southampton railway station and catching a train back to Southampton. There is a note at the foot of the interview indicating that David Lace described his background and inability to cope with life and that he wished to be locked up. <laughs>